Okay, welcome back. So this is module eight. Here we're going to now guide you and teach you uh, how to hook up the contact or relays on a per pump module. So come around, let me show you. First things first, if you already got this thing set up, six screws around the faceplate. Make sure you, you know, remove them, take them out. Do not leave the faceplate hanging at all if it's already connected. Make sure you take all these ribbons and cabling out, disconnect them, be very careful with them, they're fragile. Let's put this to the side. All right, I'm gonna stand up because there's a little bit here to discuss with you guys. Make sure you're following on this page of the actual manual. This comes in the box. Contact or relays. Let's get something out of the way first. To the right, it should be, this is your standard position. This is how you're going to leave it all the way pushed into the right, which is your auto. If this needs to be put in bypass mode, you're going to push it all the way to the left where it says closed. So again, Auto is where you need to have it hooked up and ready to go. The box will do the rest. So let me show you how to get this thing hooked up. So if you follow along, you'll see, let's take black and white and white and yellow and let's isolate those two. So I got yellow and white and then black and white, which is what's gonna go into the actual board. On the other end, I'm gonna have two orange legs. Okay, it doesn't matter which one we're going to use, so stay with me. So we're gonna take your black and white, which is gonna be essentially going into your, this is your hot lead, it's gonna go into your HV module. Again, for simplicity, you're able to take any of these modules out for a cleaner and easier connection. So this will pop out. So if you remember, if you come a little closer here, if you notice HV, this is where you're gonna take your black and white and make that connection. So HV seems to be one, two, three, the fourth slot from the left. One, two, three, four, your HV, black and white, it's gonna go there. So make sure that you take your flat screwdriver and get that wire 100% secured. Then you're going to take your yellow and white, which is your neutral, and you're gonna make that connection into the end slot. And that seems to be one, two, three, four, five, six from the left. So HV will be your fourth from the left. N will be the sixth slot from the left as well. So now that we've got all these wires connected here, this is what the board is gonna use to send power to the contactor. You can use this, you use this and put it right back into the system. So let's get this out of the way for a second. Now that we got this, these two wires fully secured, let's talk about this for a second. You already have, per se, a circuit that's powering your existing pump A. This is one of the pumps. You have a two slot super box here, pump A, pump B. You're going to disconnect power from pump A and run it redirect it into one of these orange legs. It doesn't matter which one it is. So you're gonna run it into here, and that's the power that used to be directly to the pump. It's gonna go here. Then you're gonna take another wire and run it right back out to the pump from the second leg. So when the driver comes on and goes through the sequence of driver ID, vehicle ID, odometer ID, and everything checks out, the board will energize and open the bridge on the contactor, allowing power to flow right back out to the pump. These contactor relays are typically secured in some kind of a uh, junction box, maybe under the box here, or the super box or to the side. It's up to you guys how you do it. It's how, you know, how you're used to doing the clean setup. But remember, your, your resort here is gonna be, your resource is gonna be your electric connection guide. And I hope that I've shown you how to take each one of these wires and make that connection. Okay, so a couple of more highlights before this module is finished. Uh, you, we, we've already got a dedicated circuit powering the board. That's circuit number one, crystal clear. Okay, nothing, nothing else can be on there. 
That needs to be clean power coming from the panel. Number two, your existing circuit number two that's powering the pumps, you're gonna split that, cut it, and rerun it through one leg going in and one leg going back out to the pump. So I just wanted to make the 100% clarity that one circuit to power the board, the second circuit can power the pumps.